Hi everyone, this is Marissa from Azoic, and today we're going to go over the Add Tester Chrome extension. So first things first is you're going to want to install that onto your browser. So to do that, you can go to the Chrome store and type in Azoic in the search bar. From there, the Azoic Add Tester will come up, and once you install it, this little green icon will show up at the top right. So let's get right into it. I have a site here ready, and what you'll do is go to the Chrome extension, click on Create, and then choose the placeholder size. We suggest using automatically detect because it will let the system figure out how big of an ad can fit in that space and select all the sizes that comply. So I'll go ahead and choose that and then click select location. As you can see the screen will turn black for a couple seconds but obviously that'll go away. From there when you hover over an area that you may want an ad it will show up in blue. Once you've selected the area, you go ahead and click on it. And there are some icons here at the top. The top left means a level up, and then next to it is a level down. That's within the container. The next is the previous or the next sibling element. And then over here are these up and down arrows, and that's going to be the beginning or the end of the element. This X right here will let you exit out of this, and you can go ahead and select another place. So I'm going to leave it here and click on Insert Here. From here, you get to choose where it is on the page and what device you want it to show on. I'm going to select Mid-Content and then click Create Placeholder. And it can just take a couple seconds for that to go through. Now that you have the placeholder, you can click and see all the sizes that are selected. You can remove it if you want to. Or if you want to change what sizes are selected, you click Edit, and it will take you to the Add Tester page in your dashboard. And then you can deselect any sizes you're not interested in. And then you can go ahead and add any ad positions and placeholders that you want elsewhere on the page. If you want to see the placeholders that you've done, you can click the icon, click the gear button, and update the placeholders, and then you'll be able to view them. And you can either only show the indicators, which will just be this little box that shows all the sizes, or if you expand the placeholders, it'll show you the whole ad. And when you change sizes, it'll show you exactly how big it is. That way you can see if it will actually fit in that location. And just as a note, we suggest putting at least 15 placeholders on the page, if not more, this gives the system a lot of different options to test with, and the more combinations there are, the more chance of success. Well, that's it. If you have any questions, you can email your Ezoic representative or support at Ezoic.com. Thanks.